excited now. What I trained for.
go in this can't be over two now. Two. for the terrible camera work on, on Sunday. Al managed to, to miss some more. I, I don't know, that was just terrible. I have to work better on that. Anyway, so Thursday after the marathon, and this is my first run that I've been on since then. Will affect that is probably the best of fittest I've ever been after a marathon. At least without problems. But really to be expected with what happened on the day. So I've had a few days to think about it and gone over in my head. I was really depressed. Straight afterwards the first couple of days. I'm still not happy, but it's my own fault, it all went wrong. At the end of the day, I'm to blame. I spent so much time worrying about getting my 100 mile weeks in and getting fit, that I forgot about all the other little things you have to do, especially in the last week, even the last three or four days. For example, we booked our hotel purely based on how easy it was to fly into on the Friday night and fly out on the Monday morning, which worked perfectly. The only problem with that was it took an hour and a half and four different trains to get to the XL Centre on the Saturday and then to Greenwich to the start on the Sunday. So, so including the shakeout run on the Saturday, I did the best part of 10 miles on my legs. I was out, we were out of the hotel for nine hours. And I pretty much didn't sit down for most of that. And you just can't do that when you've got a marathon with a big goal that you want to achieve the next day. You just, you can't do silly things like that. So I needed to plan better to not be so active during the weekend. The second issue that's kind of related to the first because you're staying in a hotel is food. I really didn't carb load on the, on the Friday or the Saturday. We're getting ready to, to get to the airport on the Friday and the Friday night I didn't. And Saturday being out all day. That meant that I was basically picking up sandwiches and stuff from Marks and Spencer's and pasta bowls from there as well, which it's just not good enough. There's no way you can you can hope to get your best. 
And it's all stuff that I know, it's all stuff that I tell my own athletes. But I've got into, I guess, my athlete mindset and away from my coach's mindset. And as an athlete, I was so focused on the training. I couldn't become the coach and take a step back and look at the whole thing. If I had it done, I'd have seen and noticed that I was being silly. And maybe the thing to do was because at the end of the day, trying to get a hotel in the center of London was gonna be very expensive. So if the only thing we could do was get the one that we did, I needed to not have such high hopes. I needed to think about the, 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 the logistics of it. And wise up and be like, well, maybe you just go for three and a half. You just go to have a good time. But I decided to batter myself into the ground for six months and concentrate on training. Where? Realistically, I wasn't going to hit. In that, I wasn't going to get my time on the day with the logistics that I had, with all the arrangements that I've made. So, it's a lesson learned, isn't it? An expensive and painful lesson to learn. Not in terms of physical pain, but the emotional pain knowing that it's my dream race and I really didn't do it justice so I don't know if I'll be back the chances of getting in again the only way I'll get in is how I got in this time through the athletics club and they only get two spaces if no one applies then okay but I'll be at the back of the queue now for getting a place so I don't know if I want to go again. The course was, the course was okay. I and mean, you got the highlights that you see on the telly and the crowds were just amazing. I would have been way, I'd have probably been four hours on any other course, but the crowds kept me going. So, but the, I mean, the course is still quite narrow. Quite a few roads with speed bumps. Not much fun to get down. So, I don't know if the... I wouldn't go again just to run it. I'd have to go knowing I was gonna do something special, which is what I thought this time. And we all know how that worked out. So that's my recap. And now I've got to refocus onto the future. I've got Larry Grew Trail Race. Uh, seven weeks on Sunday uh, the only good thing really to come out of the weekend the only good thing to come out of the weekend really is that I am not too battered up not too banged up so instead of needing two or three weeks to re fully recover and absorb the marathon sometime next week I can kind of get back into it We're going away this weekend, we're going away tomorrow with the caravan for three days over the long weekend. So I'm gonna do a longish run on Saturday, maybe eight, nine miles. But it's gonna be off-road. First experience of that really. And then from Tuesday next week once we're back. I'll get straight back into it. I haven't really decided on. I haven't really decided yet on what I'm gonna do in terms of a training plan, how much I'm going to run. I can use the fitness I've already got, which is a good start. I think really I'm gonna focus on strengthening my legs 
I need to get my glutes, quads and hamstrings all need, especially my glutes need a lot of work. I'll be hitting the strength in the legs and doing, I already do yoga once a week. I'm going to look at doing that maybe two or three times a week as if my legs are hitting the hills. They're going to be getting stiffer as the muscles get worked in a different way. So I'm going to still need to work on flexibility and mobility. And the final thing I want to work on really is my nutrition. I'm still too big. I'm just about the lightest I've ever been for running. But if I seriously want to do some impressive times for me anyway, I've got another 10, 15 pounds I could lose. Get down to 160-ish, I think. So nutrition is going to be a big thing. So those are the things I'm going to work on for Larry Grew. But it's only really four weeks of training before I'll be tapering again, so there's only so much I can do. But I was I was upset and depressed. I've kind of got over that now. It is what it is. It was what it was. And I'm moving on to the next the next thing. So stay tuned because I will be documenting that. My first long trail race. I'll be documenting it on the channel, so thanks for watching.